today I wanted to just um, film a makeup haul video for you guys. This has been long overdue so I really want to just get it out of the way so I can start putting them away. That's the problem with these haul videos. You can't really use them until you sh I show them to you guys and then if I use them I lose them and then I forget what to show you so yeah. Um, anyways, excuse any lighting changes, um, the sun's coming in and out, so it might go bright and then dark and then bright and then dark. I just had to figure things out as we go along. Right, so, I've got a bunch of goodies here, and I'm going to show you again. This is a collective haul, f you know, for the past couple of months, so um, I didn't buy everything at once. It's just kind of started accumulating, um, and yes, yeah, so... I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I got from Strawberry Net recently. Strawberry Net had 10% off all of their makeup and I had to take advantage of that offer especially because um, I frequently buy from that website so after you get like a certain number of orders you get certain percentage off your total um, makeup products um, so you know I effectively had 20% off basically all of the makeup. Um, just warning you guys though, some people have complained that there have been fake items. I personally haven't encountered any fake items myself because I do buy like Mac from the Mac stores and when I compare them they are completely the same. So just a warning be like, you know, um, just up to you whether you choose to buy from them or not. Um, so far my experience has been really good and you can always return them so um, anyways I'll just start off with the NARS products I've I bought a NARS sheer glow foundation from strawberry net I have it in medium for Barcelona and it's a good match for me for NC40 so um, if you're looking for what color shade to look at that's that um, I'll put all the prices down below because I just can't remember for the life of me how much I paid for all of these. Again from Mars I bought a um, blush. This one is in Lustre. It's just like a peachy bronzy kind of colour. Kind of cool. um, so this is the packaging here. Already dirty because of the rubberized packaging which I hate. Um, and then that's what it looks like. It's just a um, peachy gold and it does have a bit of a shimmer to it um, not, don't know if it will pick up so that's that I'm really excited to try this because I do love peachy blushes myself except I'm wearing a pink blush today but yeah I did replace my Yves Saint Laurent or YSL palette this is the Esprit Couture in number two and I think you've seen this before I've shown you guys this it's just a lady with a big bow and a dress so that's what it looks like if I swatch them that's what they look and I think this was on sale it's really cheap so check that out it does come with a pouch inside but I tend to not use those pouches I just find them really annoying um, and then I bought I bought a Makeup Forever foundation. I have this in the Matte Velvet Plus in what is this? 60. Yeah, it's okay. I don't actually like this too much. I don't know. I don't really like Makeup Forever foundation. Um, this one is quite matte. Um, it's oil free and water resistant. It fades like it doesn't last very long at all on me. I find it went quite blotchy after a while, so I don't know don't really like this. I'll have to try and figure it out. Dior Skin Powder Shimmer um, and this is the um, Amber Diamond Highlighter. Gorgeous. I've been wanting this for a while. You guys should know that I love, love, love highlighters. I'm not actually wearing any today but I normally would um, and it's just this gorgeous peachy goodness of shimmeriness. So that's what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's got Dior embossed into the product and you can just I'll just swipe it and it's just really nice and shimmery um, and then if I swatch it there don't know I'm really sorry for the lighting you guys oh fudge I just scratched it man 
Yeah, it's so pretty. I just scratched it. Good one. Then I did cave in and bought the Laura Mercier metallic cream eye colour. Um, this one is in burnished copper. I just adore coppery eyeshadow. And this has had raves on it, so I had to go and pick it up. So this is what it looks like. And if I just swatch it for you, it just comes out in a little tube. So that's it swatched. It's just like a reddish bronzy, but more on the red side. So it's going to be a good eyeshadow base or even as a single eyeshadow on its own. Last couple of items I bought is the Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadows from um, Strawberry Neck. Um, I love, love these. I believe that they're limited edition, so that's why Strawberry Net is selling them at the moment. I have it in prenup, which I'm wearing under my eyelids right now. It's just a rose gold um, kind of colour. And then I have it in Mary Up, which is a more coppery bronze. Color. So that's um, that's Mary Up at the moment, and I'll swatch that for you. So that's Mary Up there, and then this one is Prenup, which is a this is a rose gold color, and that's it next to Prenup. So pinky, and then like bronzy. British and I like you can even mix them together for a more ready bronzy color and that's basically it for strawberry strawberry now I did pick up other items though from the Mac website no 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 this one was from brands exclusive some Mac items from there and it's just their mega metal eyeshadow and I have it in spectacle of yourself which is this bronzy um, again reddish Color. It's kind of similar to Antique, so yeah, if you have Antique, very similar. Um, and I also have it in Paparazzi, which is a, it's kind of similar to the Amber Lights eyeshadow, except a lot, lot more pigmented and intense in color and orangeness. And then I have Center Stage, which is a bronzy, mm, it's just a very dark chocolate brown. So I'll switch these for you guys now. So this is what they look like. Very, very pigmented. I'm really sorry about the light. So that's set stage, paparazzi, and then that one is spectacle of yourself. So gorgeous colours there. Um, and then I also picked up um, a MAC quad from um, the MAC website. Um, if I can just find it. It's the, um, what is this? Shop and Drop Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it's quite expensive. Um, but and I also picked up an, a lipstick from the website, which is a Viva Glam number no. three, I believe. Um, I don't have it with me unfortunately because I forgot to bring it. But anyways, this eyeshadow quad is gorgeous. I'm always too late for the the limited edition collection things and I don't have a quad from Max. So this is my first quad and I'm very very happy with it. Um, it works perfectly for um, very dark eyes or brown hazel eyes and the colours are beautiful. I especially love hypnotising them. This is what they look like. There's plenty of swatches on the internet so I won't show them to you because I just the lighting is just too bright right now. But yeah that's what it looks like and it's gorgeous. Sable. That's what it looks like. It's just a gorgeous ready, ready bronze colour. I also bought the Hush Cream Colour Base by MAC. That's what it looks like. Just there. I did recently buy the Gemma Kid All Over Face Liquid cream illuminator or something in rose gold which is a similar color to this but I picked this one up um, because the Gemma Kid one I found was quite dry the texture was quite dry um, and I don't really like that kind of texture for a highlighter it just felt like powder basically um, so I like more creamier textures and there was just so many good things said about this cream color base so I picked it up and I absolutely love it um, and so that's all the high-end stuff that I bought and then I'm just going to show you some of the essence stuff that I've recently picked up um, loving essence at the moment um, I picked up two cream eye 
pre uh, gel eyeliners. One's in black called um, Midnight in Paris, and then the other one is from the Sun Club collection, and it's the what is this called? BBC All Night Brown, um, and it's just a brown with like, some gold gold shimmer to it. These are super super creamy. I can use the brown as a base underneath eyeshadows. Highly recommend them, and they're really cheap for like three, four, five dollars or something. I don't remember the prices. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, and then I did pick up some eyeshadows. I got one in Party All Night 35. Metropolitan, 06 Metropolitan, which as you can see has cracked, which I'm so so sad about. I really like this one. It's a matte eyeshadow, so I had to pick it up again. Um, and then another one that I recently bought is Tope of the Pops, so Top of the Pops. And it's just that, and I'll just swatch them for you guys now. So this is um, Party All Night. It's just a gorgeous chrome um, taupe colour. And this one is top of the pops, so this one's more bronzy and shimmery, and this one's a little bit more grey. Um, and that's the swatches. That one's top of top of the pop, top of the pop, which is a grey, and this one's like party or not, which is a bronzy chrome metallic finish. Um, and then I picked up two eyeliners from them. One is a Kajar pencil eyeliner in what is this? What colour is this? Damn it. I don't know what colour this is. Oh, 19, all I want. And it's just a really nice, um, what is this called? Flesh tone, skin coloured. And then I have one in a pale yellow. This one is called Neon Sweetie. So this is what they look like. And swatches. That one is the Neon Sweetie. And then this one here is the, um, all I want. And then... And then from eBay, I picked myself up one of these L'Oreal Studios Wear Infinite Studio Secrets um, quad in 06 Canyon Stone. Um, it's just a quad of really matte neutral colours and I think this would work perfectly for anyone who's starting out and they can't find themselves a nice um, matte quad which would work for everyday eyeshadows or everyday looks where you can just pop it in the crease. Um, you can use that for highlight and you can use the different shades of brown to warm up a look or you know to deepen the look. Just very very versatile. I'm always on the lookout for like nice matte quads like this so definitely check it out um, if you can find it in your stores. Um, and then one last item I picked up is another Revlon lip, Revlon matte lipstick in 003 more video but I can't find this in the stores at the moment so I had to get it online it's just a backup I still have one with me at the moment I'm wearing it now actually and it's just this color here I'll swatch it for you but I've heard it's a really nice dupe for Mac velvet teddy or even kind of sexy so that's it right there anyways that's everything that I've bought recently um I'll post the prices and links to the products down below. Um, I also have a look on this. If I have it, if I haven't posted it up yet, it's coming. So stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.